Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Bar-L, and this is something I always wanted. I always had the big versions, and I wanted to go, we're going to go right into this, because man, do I have a good one for you here. And I highly, highly recommend this. I actually fell in love with this thing. Uh, really incredible, but I never really tested it to what it is advertised. So basically, I wanted a tactical flashlight. Now, I used to have the big ones, you know, they're good for, uh, I, t I used to teach self-defense in Forest Hills Adult Education. I remember I used to do, uh, teach them how to even use a flashlight in self-defense and all that good stuff. Uh, but the thing is, I always wanted something small, something I could work on my 3D printer on my computer uh, or even lug it around with me in a backpack and I could take it with me anywhere. Some of you guys who use fanny packs, I mean, you know, if that's in fashion, wherever you guys are, that that's a good thing. Actually, I used to love fanny packs. It was like a utility belt, but unfortunately right now it's frowned upon where I am. <laughs> so, not that I care, but uh, if it was anywhere fashionable, if they had the ones they used to have in the 80s, I'd probably give it a whirl. Uh, but uh, it was really cool. And I was looking for something like that to match. And I've basically bought like a slew of these things. Like I'm talking about tons and tons of these flashlights. And then one day I'm, I'm going to 7-Eleven and I kid you not, I see this. Okay? I kid you not. Okay, wow. It's upside. Oh, that's weird. Okay, so right there. So as you can see, it says uh, Pro 4 Tactical Flashlight. Brilliant, uh, 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 sorry, brilliant uh, 300 lumens. Uh, basically what it's advertised here, it's a light beam up to one mile. It actually says uh, 1.6 kilometers, up to 40 times brighter than an ordinary flashlight. It uses three AAA al uh, alkaline batteries, uh, which is included. Now I'm going to tell you, I really hate flashlights that do this, uh, that have a uh, AAA. I, I really wish they have ones with at least AA batteries so it lasts you longer. But I guess that's why it has three batteries to probably make up and compensate for it. I, th I think it just would have been cooler with a uh, AA at least for a small uh, one like this. Unfortunately, the small ones that I see usually only has one AA, so it kind of sucks. But uh, yeah, if they would do that, that would be so cool. So it has a one-year warranty. It says no questions asked. Literally, I'm not kidding. No question asked. One year warranty. Uh, and it's called a Pro 4, uh, yeah, Pro 4 Tactical Flashlight. So let's go into it, and I'm going to do a test for y'all. So first off, it comes with, oh, crap. They were all kind of a little bit opened in 7-Eleven. Um, in I think I took the, uh, here we go. So it comes with a manual, and it comes with the battery. So, and it comes with this right here. So I'm not sure why this, thi so here, you could tighten it. And basically it has here, as you can see, the zoom in and zoom out, basically. So when you're, you know, when you're zooming out, you go up to 2000, but then watch this, you could stretch it and then I, I see I really wish that when you stretch it you can screw it and it becomes really tough but it's not it could just it's just gonna go like this so the thing is real like hardcore metal really cool uh, and you could clearly see this is an LED see that LED but that's for zooming in and zooming out whatever uh, flashlight uh, right there so let's take this out and let me see what it has here so that's how it is here. Really nice, actually. And it has a casing for three of these wackadoodle batteries. These are like no-name batteries. Usually I always see the one with the cat on it, which is like old school. And I used to love those, uh, that brand back in the 80s. And I was so happy that they, people are starting to include them because I never see them anywhere. But uh, this one is like, it's just Pro 4. It's by the brand itself. Let me just get this out of the way. Uh, so right there, it comes in a little, you know, thing right here, and you basically just drop it. I hope I got it in the right direction. Oh, so it's this one's going to be where the light is, and you see this, it has a clicker. That's how you turn it on and off, and you just basically, yeah, this is metal too. It feels a little bit hollow, so sometimes it feels like uh, plastic, and it, maybe I put it the wrong way, but... I am not getting anything out of it. Let me see here. Unless these batteries are dead. Uh, we're going to have to... Oh, there you go. Uh-oh. Okay. Not cool. Let's 
<laughs> okay. Ah. This comes with a strap too, which is pretty cool. Whoa, what the hell is this? Oh, I guess they have different functions. So this thing is pretty deep. So this is like an SOS. And this is the flashlight itself. So, pretty cool. Let me just see something. So you can see, like, it's a zoom in, zoom out type. So, like, this covers much more. I mean, I'm going to show you guys. This much, you see, like, it, and then just, like, a very focused light, if you guys could see this on camera. I'm going to take it outside and show you guys exactly how it is. But this is a pretty deep light. I mean, I'm going to show you on my face here. Okay, this is from a distance of, I don't know, like, almost three feet. So really focused and then really spreads out. Now this, I'm going to be honest with you, this would be really cool for filming. Depends on where you're going to align it in the darkness. This would be really cool. I remember when I used to do a lot of indie film uh, before I had an actual budget. We used to actually use LED lights of those circle ones where you get them really cheap. And we had like a cardboard and we stuck them to the guard cardboard and turned them on. It was like a cool, you know, cheap uh, version of lights. Uh, but then afterwards, you know, um, we started getting uh, some money and we started investing in better products. But this thing, you know, you could pretty much light up the entire face uh, just by doing this without the zoom out. And you could see this is a very nice light on the person. And esp especially if you have filters or whatever like that, you'll be fine. It just it depends, but you have to fill it out. You know, you have to you need more than one. But uh, you know, this is pretty cheap, and this thing actually costs, believe it or not, only uh, ten dollars. So really cheaper. You could find it on eBay, and look, you could even replace uh, the the stuff here. You can uh, clean it out if need be. See, like I just cleaned it out. So you could replace the LED. You could put this back. You know, back on. So everything is really, you know. You can really fix it up and everything if something happens and it'll be really cool. So this is definitely something I highly recommend. And now we're going to go outside and I'm going to actually test it for y'all. So you're going to see if this is really uh, what it advertises to be, which is, um, let me see if I line this up right. Uh, man, this is weird. Uh, if it actually does up to one mile. So we're gonna test it out. So this is pretty cool, it says warning, high intensity beam, do not look into the light, which I just did. Again, I'm the crash test dummy, so don't worry about it. But definitely I recommend it. Now we're gonna go and we're gonna go test it out and we'll see exactly what's what. Okay guys, so we're gonna test it out right now. So this is under the zoom. Okay, so we are on my 16th floor apartment right now, okay? So right now what we want to do is to get it on the rooftops right here, which is almost impossible. We're gonna go for the further rooftop and we're gonna see what the hell happens. Hold on, hold on, there you go. So this is just the concentrated light, so you're not gonna see much in there, but you could see it's already lighting up the rooftop, which is insane. So now we're gonna do it wide and as you can see look at that it is going for a mile so this is not a lie guys this is actually about a mile look at that it's shining all over even on that on that building this is freaking crazy like seriously look at that see that right there this is like a freaking spotlight i mean you could really annoy people with this thing you could see so that is freaking unbelievable look at that it's literally going for a mile so definitely <laughs> without a shadow of a doubt this thing is legit i kid you not just out of this world and definitely highly recommend it i think i'm probably going to get the cops called on me for this but uh, <laughs> we are in new york city but it is funny you could just about annoy the hell out of anybody with this and they have like this so you see this and you could do this like hold on and it's just like, look at this, it's just incredible. I mean, you could really go further with this thing, so that's remarkable. I'm trying to hit that building there, but I guess it's more than a mile. But it's actually hitting it, if you could look. You see that? It's hitting it. So that's pretty freaking amazing. Pretty amazing. I want to try to hit the... See, when you hit um, where there's even light, like you see there, look at that. How... <laughs> I'm going to get the cops called on me for this. So, uh, 
definitely just freaking amazing. Unless these people, poor guys, probably think a helicopter is hitting them. But uh, just freaking out of this world. This thing is really incredible. Like, wow. So really a great you know thing to use, especially for filming. Uh, for filming equipment or whatever, if you guys are, are short with light, you'll, you're able to use it. I do wish they had a dimmer. That would have been really cool. But I guess you could always cut it down with bouncing, you know, bounce the lights off or whatever. But uh, obviously for doing parts and computers or to go and do on, uh, if you do paranormal investigations, uh, any investigations, any archaeology or whatever you guys want to do. You want to play Indiana Jones. I don't know, whatever. This damn thing is a go definitely a 10 out of 10 and it is tiny y'all i mean really really tiny i mean you could literally see in my hand it is my entire hand you see that so i mean look when you close and, and and that was stretched so when it's closed it's it's exactly the size of my hand my hand is an orangutan hand but it works really really well but as you can see just freaking incredible out of this world definitely recommend it 10 out of 10 without a shadow of a doubt this thing is freaking amazing anyways as always self-funded here let me know what you guys think uh like uh subscribe uh definitely uh hit the bell button as many more reviews and things to come uh definitely if uh keep those requests coming for more stuff for me to review this one was kind of like my own find it's something i wanted to do and i'm sure a lot of you guys would probably enjoy it those who don't let me know but uh this is something that is i think everybody should have in their survival gear survival uh you know pack if you're going camping any type of stuff like that this thing is really really good and uh again i do wish that it held like two aa batteries but to have three triple a batteries that's just fine you just got to get more and more and more of them um, you know triple a batteries and you you should be set rechargeables would work everything will be really cool uh i didn't test something out here and i'd like to test that out um and that is the the sky oh you, okay so the sky obviously nothing's gonna happen it ain't it ain't that good but you could literally see there's a beam you see <laughs> so that's that i mean i am just freaking stunned I wish I had this when I was a kid. Really, I could do like lots of things, probably follow my friends around with that from here. When I used to see my friends walking down the stairs, I could just hit them with that and they'd be like, what the hell is that? So really, <laughs> really cool. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, like, subscribe, hit that bell button. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye. As always, guys, if you like what you see, self-funded here, be sure to check out all my other uh, stuff from mini series to unboxings to technology, you know and uh, Nintendo reviews and 3D printer uh, reviews and all that good stuff. If you like what you see, the only way you can help the channel is by liking uh, this video, subscribing, and hitting that bell button. As many more cool videos to come, definitely want you guys in it, and I, wanted, I want you guys to be vocal. Definitely comment down below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.